CRDTs are what keeps real-time apps from exploding when two people type at the same time. Because let's be honest, if you've ever built a collaborative app and thought, hmm, what if two users edit the same thing at the same time? I'm sure it'll be fine. No, no it won't. Your app will turn into a merge conflict factory. So let's learn CRDTs before your users start sending angry emails. Now before we understand what CRDTs are, let's understand what problem do CRDTs solve. Imagine two people editing the same document. Person A writes hello, person B writes world. Without CRDTs, your system panics and goes, I don't know which one to keep so I'll break everything. CRDTs stop that. They make sure that everyone eventually sees the same final result, no matter what order the updates arrive in, even if someone was offline for 3 hours. Basically, CRDTs prevent data conflicts. Everyone wins. No conflicts at all. So what are CRDTs? CRDTs are special data types designed for apps where many people edit the same thing at the same time. They are built so that you can apply updates in any order. You can apply updates multiple times. You don't need a central server to fix mistakes. All devices will end up with the same final result. Or in simpler terms, CRDTs are like Lego pieces. No matter how you connect them, they still fit. There are two big types of CRDTs. State-based CRDTs and operation-based CRDTs. Let's understand state-based CRDT with an example. Imagine you're building a shared to-do list app. Each user has their own copy of the entire list. What happens when they sync? So let's say user A's list is buy milk, fix bug, and user B's list is buy milk, touch grass. Now when they sync, they merge the full lists. The merge rule is combine everything without duplicates. So the final merge list is buy milk, fix bug, touch grass, Nobody overwrites anyone else. The merge always produces the same result. But the drawback is, you had to send the whole list over the network even if only one new item was added. This is state-based CRDT. Now let's understand operation-based CRDT with an example. Let's take the same to-do app example, but now you send just the changes. So user A adds add fix bug, user B adds add touch grass. Each device broadcasts only these operations. Add fix bug, add touch grass, and any device that receives them applies them in any order. So order 1 could be, apply A then B, so basically fix bug, touch grass, or it could be order 2, which is apply B then A, that is touch grass, fix bug, but the CRDT rules ensure the final result is the same list for everyone. Here you didn't send the whole list, just the operations. This is operation based CRDT. Now a good example of CRDT can be Google Docs that lets multiple people type at the same time and all devices keep the same text order. So why should you care about CRDTs? Because the concept of CRDTs or something similar is used in Google Docs, Figma, Miro, Notion, offline first apps, real-time chat, and collaboration tools. If your app has real-time editing, CRDTs save you a lot of time and effort. They are pretty useful and a very popular algorithm. So yeah, if you found the video insightful, do like and subscribe for more.